Hey everybody, welcome back to Aliens on Toast Gaming, and welcome back to our progression series in the Isle. And today we get to mess around as the Triceratops. Ah, uh, look at this glorious beast. So, the Triceratops, what's it good for? Well, for starters, it's a glass cannon. Uh, this thing has 2,500 health, which is very substantial. But not only does it have 2,500 health, it also does a shit ton of damage and bleed. Uh, not as much bleed as the Steger, but enough bleed to make you worry. Uh, so our, our big, I guess, uh, goal for today is to test out how that goes. Uh, so let's head down to Try. We've got a bit of a, a journey over there. Um, but we get to mess around in the new kind of, I guess, I guess biome, essentially. It's uh, the new map version of Try. It's a lot more tree uh, that's a word. Uh, and we get to kind of like, let's, let's see if we can uh, provoke any carnivores to fight us. Uh, especially any large carnivores. See if we can hold our own against uh, the meat-eating murderers. Ooh, we've got something in the water up there. I don't know what that is though. If it's big or small. The impression it may be small, in which case we're gonna spook it. But hey, I mean that's what's fun about the Triceratops is you can just spook to your heart's content because you got these three freaking danger horns on the front here. No one's gonna really want to mess with that. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Uh, oh. Ooh, this should be interesting. I think that's a Spino, and he's uh, coming straight towards us. Let's let's fake a limp. See if we can uh, draw him in. We're not going to walk as fast, but. Uh, and now what we're going to do is we got to uh, we got to fake him out. He's he's going to see us and think, oh shit, that's a track, and then we're going to go, oh shit. That's a Spino! Better run away! Oh, he'll eat me! Uh, is he coming towards us? I can't tell anyone. I think he might actually be going away from us. God damn it, Spino! You're ruining the plan! That was a pretty good tactic, though. We may use that when we actually find the guy. Okay, we're getting... Pretty darn close to try now. You can always tell by the mud part that heads out of the ocean there. Um, what that means is we're in prime hunting territory for large carnivores. Well, I suppose not large anymore. I mean, this is more small carnivore territory, but I mean, we saw that uh, Spinosaur heading in here, which means there's at least one large carnivore around here. And I mean, it's not like we can quieten these thundering footsteps and hope that nobody notices us. Uh, all we can kind of do is either stop dead in our tracks or make a rockus. But it should be interesting. We should be able to hold our own off against the Spino. I mean, we can we can damage them pretty harshly. Uh, and if we and if we uh, uh, false limp, that's what I'm looking for. If we fake limp them, we can actually turn super quickly too. So, if we get into an altercation, we should be able to hold it. Let's announce our presence to anyone here. Because the trike is goddamn loud! Oh man, I like the trike. <laughs> it used to sound like a cow. Now he sounds like a monster. It's beautiful. Ah! Good old Shrike. Okay, well, there's nothing here. Um, I know for a fact that across this lake, across that lake, and at the third lake, that there are some blue plants we can eat. Uh, if I was going to be a carnivore, that's where I'd wait for people to turn up. It's kind of out in the open, which means we need to go out in the open. We can't hide amongst the trees. Though, not like the big hulking mass that is the Triceratops can really hide, anyway. Now let's see if we can find this... this Spinosaur. Ooh, 
Ooh, there he is. I see him. I see him. I see him. I see him. Yeah, he's heading to the third lake. I don't know if he's planning on hunting there. Oh, has he seen us? I think he's seen us. Excellent. Excellent. Looks like we could have a fight coming our way. Hey, buddy. Bring it. Come over here, you big salamander. Yeah, I'm not even worried about you. I'm just going to casually take a drink. What are your plans, bud? You want to try something? Okay, now, the, the biggest worry I have here is that there is not one large carnivore, but several. Uh, if there are several, I'm just going to sit down because goodbye. But if there's just that Spinosaur, I should be able to take it. In fact, let's th let's uh, let's give this guy a bit of a, a hello. See what he says to that. I don't think he's too worried. Uh, yeah, he's he's not even slightly worried. Uh, he knows he can outrun us. I think is the the big thing. He's not going to try and juke us there. Yeah, get away from my leg. Yeah, he's not even going to try. Get out of here. Slither back home, you big snake. Okay. Uh, apparently I have two epic things. Okay, here we are at the third leg. Um, Spinosaur stuck to his rocks over there, so he's not coming to bother us. Um... Whether or not there's anything else around here, though, is what I would like to know. Looks pretty peaceful, though. I'm happy with that. So, uh, these are the blue plants I was talking about. There's tons of them around here. Uh, not like Prog Peak or anything like that, but there is a lot. There is a lot of plants around here. Uh, if you notice, too, they will fill up my health, uh, not health, my hunger a little bit, uh, but when it ticks over, uh, when the, the the server takes over, I will actually lose all that hunger. Prog progress plants don't help you out if you're starving to death anymore. I don't know if that's an actual planned feature, because you'd think that, you know, after eating these plants you should be good. But... I think that... Yeah, I, I don't know. It seems weird. It seems weird. Hopefully it is just a glitch, they will fix that. Because uh, I like it when they feed you. I mean, as, it's already easy enough as a herbivore. Uh, without needing to constantly search for food. Uh, you, you don't really need to even worry about that in Herbo for most of the time. It'll be interesting to see how they kind of balance that later on in the game. Uh, but one of the other features I wanted to show you guys, if I can find a nice spot... You know what, I'll actually do it up on this hill. Uh, is you can actually lay nests now. The uh, proper implementation of these nests isn't complete. I mean, they're just kind of prototypes, you can build a nest, uh, but you can't really, I don't know, it, does, it doesn't work as intended just yet. Eventually what will happen is you invite people to your nest, you can then spawn them as the dinosaur you are, uh, if they accept of course, and then they have to go through the, pro the growth uh, process. So let's, uh, let's lay a nest, uh, oh that is a good spot, right here, right here. See if that, can I lay a nest? It appears I cannot lay a nest. Never mind. Nests, they're weird at the moment. I don't know if they're working or not. Nest, 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 nest. No nests. Okay. But we believe the next update will have, like, the proper nest implementation. Or at least a step forward so that we don't have to grind for every dinosaur. If you have, like, a pack uh, that you're running with, you can come back in with that pack. If you've got a herd that you're working with, you can come back in with that herd. Uh, that way you don't have to stress too much. Okay, let's see if we can pester that Spino a little bit more. I know he was up there behind those rocks. I don't know where he is now. He may not even be at these lakes anymore. He had food with him, so... I highly doubt he'd stick around to... Well, I, I highly doubt he'd move, pretty much. Uh, but he doesn't appear to be up there. Either that or he's hiding really well. Uh, what we do want to do, though, is make sure we try and 
people. Ooh, hello there. I think that's a Utah coming up behind us. He probably thinks we don't see him. But we saw you, buddy. Uh, oh no, that's a, uh, that's a harem. That's a nothing. That's a, uh, a tiny little lizard, essentially. There's nothing around here. It's completely dead. Nothing but the leaves to keep us company. And man, they have some boring leaves. Okay, let's head back to first lake. This lake boring. I was hoping we'd have a bit of a fight. What? Yeah, is that a hair? Yeah, that's a hair. Hey there, buddy. Let's see if, if we can get him over here. Uh, he doesn't look too interested. Probably a safe option for a, uh, a Hera. I mean, most trikes would probably just kill him on sight. I don't want to do that. Hey, buddy. You are small and kind of like a puppy. Where do we want to go? Hello. Oh, no, you're not a Hera. You're an Ostro. Hey, Ostro. Going for that Spinosaurus, are we? There's not much, you know, going on around here. Trees seem quite clear. No one waiting to ambush in that direction. Or over there. The water seems pretty clear. I don't know what to tell you, this is boring. We'll make sure our Ostro friend feels safe. Yes, hello! Friendo! I want to know where that uh, Spino went. I'm not really that worried. I mean, he's you know not that big of a threat to us, unless he comes up and sneak attacks us from behind, which I kind of don't want him to do. I like my track. I would like to keep my track. Thank you. Uh, well, in the last video, in the last progression video, we headed to the uh, Conifer Lake. We might actually try doing that again. It's a pretty easy run from here. It's literally straight across there. And we're the trike now, so we don't have to, you know, circumnavigate the globe hoping to avoid carnivores. We can just run headfirst in there. In fact, that's what we're going to do. If we do happen to bump into, like, a big pack of carnivores, what we might try and do is if we can, escape towards the second marsh lake, I think it's also called Plateau Lake, uh, which is down that direction, because it's got some paths down there that they are about as wide as this path here. And if you stick your head facing the carnivores, they can't get round either side. The same if you're a, if you're a steg, just stand with your butt facing them. They can't get you. Uh, the best tactic from a carnivore's point of view is just to wait for you to starve to death. Which is a long and boring process. Ooh, hello. Hello. We've got ourselves a, uh, a carnivore or two coming our way. Ooh, we have the two carnivores coming our way. This could be bad. good for us. We're, we're probably going down. Yeah, hello, buddy. That's an adult Rex. Oh, shit. We got bad things coming our way. Yeah, come for me, bud. Come on, come on, come on. This is the fight we've been waiting for. I can't see shit because of this goddamn night vision. Oh, 
this does not look good. Man, how are we doing? We're on foot. We haven't taken any damage. We are uh, looking good. Looking good. You guys don't want to face off against me. Yeah, I am the king of this land. I claim thee. How did you not die? Hey bud, hey bud. I think you uh, came at me too soon. Oh uh, man, I don't like this. I don't like this. Yeah, that Spino is scared. Oh man, this is hectic! This is hectic! Okay. This is not good, this is not good, this is not looking good. Okay, we just gotta keep doing that that simple ram. That's what we want. Oh uh, shit, I see what they're doing. Ah oh, crap, they, okay, we gotta stay underwater, we gotta stay underwater. Okay, we're looking good though, we're looking good. He needs to rest his stamina up, that's what he's doing. Yeah, you can you get out of the way soon enough? Yeah, you can. Oh man, this is This is tense. Yeah, I see you there, Rex. I see you there. And you missed! You missed your shot, bud! How did I not hit you? That doesn't make any sense. Holy shit! Only eight bleed? What is this? What is this? Yeah, I'm dead. I'm pretty sure I'm dead at this point. I can't really do much else. I don't think I got him. Uh, no, I, I, he's not even bleeding. He's just waiting. Now we, we're on five, but we're gonna live this out. Yeah, he's not. He's not even crippled in the slightest. Well, shit. That's not what we want. We don't want the console. Oh, come on. We just gotta walk this out. Walk this out. gonna walk out this uh, bleed and this broken leg we're gonna be fine we're gonna be fine and we're gonna slowly head up towards the trees slowly make our way out really how did that how did you not get hit by that how much bleed do you oh, you only do three wait three bleed really I don't think they're leaving me alone. I think they're just regrouping. Yeah, hey buddy, I see you. I see you. Ooh, man. I didn't know raptors could jump now. What we wanted to do is get up to the marsh lake where we can back ourselves against 
a rock wall, so they cannot get to us. Ah oh, man, how can we not hit these guys? Like seriously, how? How did you not get hit by that? Is my ping that bad? Really? I think you missed anyway. Yeah, you missed, buddy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We've got that problem. Yeah, we can't move. Okay, so clicking any of the keys does nothing. I can't even attack. I can only roar. That is all I can do. And yeah, we're well and truly dead. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that was a good run while it lasted. Ah, I'm disappointed though that we got killed by a goddamn glitch and we couldn't hit anybody. We had some really clear shots and it just didn't count. That's frustrating. But hey, that's just what happens. Thank you very much for watching everybody. Sorry it was such a disappointing end to that episode. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!